Hi, welcome to the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, today we're going to talk about OSPF external metric types. So when you redistribute a, another routing protocol into OSPF, those are external routes. So they're external to OSPF. And then they get injected with either a metric type of one or a metric type of two. Um, and so by default, it's going to be metric two, which means just take the external metric and don't add as it hops through the internal OSPF network, right? So normally in an OSPF network, each hop adds its own um, cost, right? So you get the total cost and, and OSPF chooses the lowest cost path to get to the, to the destination. Well, um, using a metric type of two, it doesn't add those internal costs. It only adds the metric of the external route, right? So regardless of how many internal hops it passed through, it's still going to be a metric type of whatever the external was. A metric type of one takes that external metric and then adds the cost of each hop so that if you've got, a, um, if you've got multiple exits to the same external route, right, it'll choose the lowest cost path because it's going to take the external metric plus each internal hop to get there. So in this scenario, we have our two routers set up, router one, router two. They're running OSPF in area zero. They're in the 10 network. They are currently neighbored with each other. And then I have a loopback here on router one. And this loopback is 1.1.1.1 slash 32. It's not running a routing protocol at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to redistribute this route uh, or this connected interface into OSPF. So it's going to inject this route into OSPF. Um, and then what we'll, we'll see on router two, we'll look at the routing table, see what kind of metric type it is, and then see how the metric uh, changes based on whether it's metric type one or the default of type two. Okay, so here we are on router one, show IP OSPF neighbor, shows us that I have another neighbor. Uh, so I'm 10.0.0.1, my neighbor's 10.0.0.2, right? Um, and then in my running config, I have, um, here's, here's VE10, right? So 10.0.0.1, that's where we saw that, that uh, OSPF neighbor, right? IP OSPF area zero. Uh, we also have our loopback, so this is our 1111 slash 32. So this is what we're going to redistribute into OSPF. And then if we look at our OSPF configuration, we have router OSPF, we have the router only in area zero, and then I've set the auto cost reference bandwidth to be 10 gigs. So that's a best practice. There's another video on that. Um, but on all my routers, I've changed the, uh, the auto cost reference bandwidth to be 10 gig because it's my fastest interface on these devices. Um, okay. So um, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go into config T. I'm going to go into router OSPF. And what I want to do is I'm going to set a default metric, right? So default dash metric. So the default metric is what metric I'm going to give to external routes to get redistributed into this router, right? So um, rather than letting the router calculate that, I'm going to set a default. So all external routes are going to come in with a metric of two, okay? Um, and then... So by default, my metric type is type two, which is not going to add the internal hops. It's just going to keep that external metric of two, regardless of how far it goes across the internal network. So the difference is if I had another exit point. So if I go back to my diagram here, I have a, a a uh, exit to you know 1.1.1.1, one 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 well, it's a slash 32, so you can have more than one address. But if this was a subnet, and I had another route out to that subnet, uh, from this router, if it was a type two, it wouldn't add the internal cost. So therefore, it would be equal cost from this in router or from this router, right? From, from this router. So those, it could use equal cost multipath to get to that external destination. If I change it to a type one, it's going to use the external cost plus the internal. So from this router, the link directly connected to it would be the shortest path. And this one would be a longer path because it would have the external metric of two plus the internal metric of um, uh, 10 in this case. And so therefore it would be a metric of 12 versus a metric of two. And it would use the shortest path right, as OSPF should. 
Okay, so going back to our config, so we set our default metric of two, and then the next thing where I'm going to do is I'm just going to redistribute uh, connected, because that loopback is a connected route. Okay, so if I hop over to router two, my my uh, router on the other side of that WAN link, and do a show IP route, whoops, What I have here, here's my 1.1.1/32. Its gateway is 10.0.0.1. That's correct through VE10. Now we see that it has a cost of two, right? So it didn't add the internal cost of that link. It only took the external metric or that. Remember, we set the default metric to two, so that's why that's a two, right? And then it's OSPF learned, and the two here represents the metric type, which is uh, type two by default. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to router one and I'm going to set a metric type, metric dash type, and then it's type one. Okay, so now when I re inject that route, if I look at the show IP route, now we see the same route here. It is a metric type of one, right? So it's OSPF type one. And then we see a cost of 12. So it took the external, right? So we, we defaulted that external route to two plus the internal cost. That's a, that's a gig link. So it's, it's uh, reference bandwidth um, over link speed. So 10,000 over 1,000 gives you 10. So we added 10 plus two to get 12. So um, therefore, if I had another exit point to that same uh, route on this router, it would use the shortest cost, right? Um, However, if I was using type two, the default, those would be equal cost and it could low balance across both of them. Okay, so there's multiple reasons to choose one over the other, but basically that's how it, how it goes, right? Type two doesn't add the internal hops, a type one does. Okay, that's it for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for joining, take care.